Good morning, folks. It is the first day of spring as the sun passes the celestial equator. Here are two interesting articles about some very important economic indicators, but these aren't for the United States. These are for China. Good king. This sounds like good news. However, you need to put your money where your mouth is. Literally. You might have heard about the Jewish school students being murdered, but what you might not have known is that that gun was also used to kill Muslim soldiers. That's a very interesting twist. Very welcome news here uh, to see that Iran has not decided to build a nuclear bomb. This is the consensus of the intelligence community, and that makes this Wall Street Journal article shameful saber-rattling. Uh, read it and hang your head in shame. We have some earthquakes uh, popping back up on the western subduction zone of South America. Haven't seen that in a while. Pretty severe weather in Texas and a little bit up north yesterday. Now watch uh, over there where, where Texas is. You can see these storms just kind of flaring up out of nowhere. And then as soon as, uh, as soon as nightfall comes, it turned into that severe weather we had last night. You might remember that just over a week ago, I was saying that Chad Myers at CNN was predicting uh, tornadoes for the Midwest eight, uh, seven days in advance. Well, that is now up in this area right in here where that's going to be in the next 12 to 24 hours is going to be getting hit with severe weather tonight. Be on the lookout. It's right there. Also a little bit north, uh, we had a power outage up in Canada. They still do not know what caused it. They're still looking for that. So they figured this actually could last a while. Once again, we are seeing some uh, earthquakes in places we don't expect to see them, and we had an avalanche yesterday in Norway where six people uh, were actually killed. Last but not least, we are having that continuing torrential rainfall uh, from the fallout of that decaying tropical storm in Australia. Have to keep an eye on that, folks. The flooding is pretty serious. Coming over and looking at the induction magnetometer, folks, the last couple of days have seen these PC1 pulsations, which are uh, definitely anomalous compared to what we normally see on the induction magnetometer. Now, when we have this kind of ion cyclotron radiation out there in the magnetosphere and in the ionosphere, you can pretty much be sure that it's trying to repair itself, so that's good news. We do have that dark coronal hole, which is turned into an Earth-facing position. It's going to hit us in two to three days with a coronal hole stream. We have a little magnetic filament in the Earth-facing position and a few others that are turning the limb. Some of these solar active regions look like they could put out CMEs. That one actually did put out a little one yesterday, but there's not really a whole lot to watch out for, folks. That's news. Be safe.